how's everybody doing today? Back with another video for you guys. And today, we're going to be doing my full review of the Office Tech Wireless Keyboard and Mouse Combo. So, to start things off, let's talk about the build quality and the design here. So, let's actually do this one at a time. So, I'm going to talk about the keyboard first, and then we're going to talk about the mouse. So, as we talk about build quality, I would say, and as you can see, that this keyboard was built quite nicely. Now, this is a, a full keyboard. So, you have everything. You have your number pad, you have all your keys, and they're all in the right spot. And I must say, guys, that build quality on this is quite good quite good indeed you got your flip down feet so you could prop it up and get a better angle or you can leave it flat and it's constructed quite nicely as you can see I'm shaking it and we're not getting too much of a rattling noise and I'm shaking it pretty good other than that I must also say that I like the um, I like the colors that was used here so there's a nice black checkered pattern, almost like, uh, yeah. And I must say it looks really good, considering I have all black, uh, all black set up here. So the, the TV that I'm using as my monitor is black, same, similar color to this. So is my desktop over there, so is my router, and so is my modem. So this fits right in with my setup so that's perfect now another thing I want to talk about when it comes to build co uh, quality sorry guys can't talk is the keys now these keys are built quite well and as you can hear they're quite responsive so everything works as it's supposed to so that's pretty good I do however have a one issue with this keyboard that I'm going to point out now in build quality and that is that the keys when you pr press them they have a nice amount of travel but it just it just feels very mushy it doesn't have that nice tactile feedback that I'm used to getting from other keyboards now I've used a lot of wired keyboards for a while now and as y'all may know I wanted to change everything over to wireless to make my setup a lot more portable depending on if I had to go do things and you know wired just makes it you, there's a lot of cables and things that you have to deal with and now that everything's wireless or just just about it's a lot easier to keep things clean and neat now haven't actually cleaned up my desktop space yet because I'm waiting till I get um, get the PC stick or the Kangaroo Pro. Those are the ones that I narrowed it down to, so I still got to make a decision between those. So once I decide which one I'm getting, and I get it, and I can actually um, clean up my desktop and pack it up and just use that as my primary machine then I'm going to clean it up and I might do a little desktop setup for you guys so you guys can see but that's that and that's why I got this keyboard now aside I got way off track there aside from the mushiness of the keys I would say that this keyboard is pretty solid otherwise I mean it's no cables it has all your standard features as a regular keyboard so yeah it's pretty solid now, <clears throat> moving on from Dull Quality, let's talk about some of the features that's in this guy. So, you get all of your standard keyboard stuff, and you have your multimedia features across the top. So, you have all that. You have your volume, and your mute, and all that good stuff there, and your home key there, and all that. And, <clears throat> also, I don't know if y'all know, but what I'm going to do right now is you still can do your Windows 10 commands so right here 
the start button you see here doubles as the Windows key. So if I go start control and then I think it was uh was it tab? I'm not sure what it was or D. That just made a new desktop there. So I just made a new desktop. Now uh I can't remember them. But I think it was control star and tab pulls it up or I'm not sure how that goes. But you can still use all of your Windows commands there. I had some of them memorized to show you guys, but I kind of forgot them. So, but it still works. And if you're used to your Windows desktop shortcuts, you can still use them. Just instead of using the um, instead of using the Windows key as you may be used to, you just have to use the Start key instead. So I thought that that was pretty cool. So you actually you lose no functionality whatsoever. So that's pretty nice there. Now, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You have all of your standard features and things. Now moving on, let's talk about the uh, the steps to setting this guy up. And I'm I must be really good, with, really honest with you guys that this is pretty seamless. It's all plug and play. There's no manuals. You plug it into your computer, similar to like what we have over there with my Bluetooth receiver. I have one plugged into the back. That's the receiver for the keyboard and mouse. You plug it in. It's all plug and play, and you have you have no issues. It, it's all automatic, so there's no problems there. And I must say, it connected up within seconds. All I had to do was put the batteries in, and we were good to go. Now, in terms of range, as we keep it moving here, I would say the range on this is pretty good. Now, I haven't really gotten the chance to test it because it's a keyboard and mouse. I'm not going to do anything outlandish. This is uh, particularly for my desktop setup, so it's not going to leave my, my working area. But I do believe, however, that you can use this with a laptop or... As y'all have seen from some of my deals videos, I can actually use this when I want to shoot um, videos with my uh, big screen out in the living room. And I can actually control it that way as well. And it works no problem. And that's actually what I was using my other Logitech keyboard for. was Because um, we kind of have a laptop set up to the TV in the living room. And that's how we watch videos. And this will work just as well for that. So... Shouldn't have any problems with the range or the strength here. Now, and it, when it comes to what this is using, I believe it's using the Wi-Fi network, the 2.4 gigahertz band Wi-Fi. Um, I only say that because if it was using Bluetooth, I would have picked up some interference from my Bluetooth receiver. And I'm proud to report that I haven't picked up any. So... I believe this is strictly Wi-Fi here. And, yeah. So, that was the strength and the range. And, honestly, I'm having no issues with it. Now, moving on here. Let's talk about the battery life of this guy. Now, it's all pretty much dependent on the batteries that you have in here. And... As you guys would have seen, if you watched my unboxing, I'm using the Amazon Basics uh, AAA rechargeable batteries, and I have no issues. Now, I didn't get to use the charger yet, so I can't really talk about that. I might have to make a separate video on that when the batteries die, maybe, because they came pre-charged, so I just stuck them in, and I was good to go. So, and I think the batteries... It said with charged batteries and whatnot, this should last for about 18 months at a time, I believe. If I got that wrong, I will correct it in the comments. But I do believe it said 18 months. Other things um, is that, I think I forgot to point this out in the features section, but it does have smart weight technology. So right now, when I'm not using it, it's actually in a nice standby mode. And as y'all will see, if you look closely, if I press a key, 
Now it wakes up and you see I have number lock on. But while it's in standby mode, it turns everything off. But the minute I press the key, it's going to turn number lock on and I can use it like regular. So that's pretty cool. And I think that's a testament to how they're able to get such good battery life. And who knows, I might do an update video in the future. Um, letting you know just how long the keyboard actually lasts for. So, so we can see if it's actually close to what the manufacturer's battery life has stated. So I might just have to do that update video. But in terms of battery and charge times, I must say... I'm having no issues so far. I'm still on my first set of batteries. And as I said, I haven't used the battery charger yet because the batteries came pre-charged. So, yeah. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is I just want to give y'all some positives and negatives of this guy. And then we're going to talk about the mouse and I'm going to wrap it up with the price. So, some positives. Of course, y'all know I always point this out. It's completely wireless, so you don't have any cables to fight with. And, um, yeah, so no issues there. The keyboard is actually constructed quite well, so you're not going to have any problems with build quality, at least for mine. Everybody's thing is a little different. I was reading through some of the reviews on this, and some people got shipped broken keyboards. So when you place your order, just make sure everything's working out of the box. If not... You make, you make sure you send that back ASAP and they'll send you out a new one or you'll get a refund and you purchase a new one. But other than that, when it comes to me, the build quality on this is pretty good. Haven't had any issues. Um, the range and strength is pretty good even though I haven't really taken this too far away from the receiver. Because like I said, this is particularly for my desktop um, work setup here so it's not going to go too far away. Um, yeah, other than that, the battery life is good, um, the steps to pairing is fairly seamless, it's all plug and play, you don't have to install anything, you plug it in, the computer will go out on its own and find all the drivers and you'll be good to go. So, yeah, that would be all the positives, and another positive, you have a full keyboard here with your number keys and everything exactly where it's supposed to be. So that's also another plus. And you have your dedicated media controls at the top. And you can still take advantage of full Windows 10 keyboard and desktop shortcuts with this guy. Just keep in mind that your start button also doubles as your Windows key. So that would probably be the only thing that you have to get used to with this. Now, some negatives. I couldn't really find much. But the one negative that I found that uh, it gives me a little problem, or oh, well, there's actually two, is that the mushiest of the keys when you press them. Now, the key travel is pretty good, but I'm used to that tactile feel, so you can feel it. It's firm. It feels good in your fingers when you press it, but this, it feels very um, mushy, so... That's probably the only downside that i found to this. Other than that, um, there's no real issues with this. So, yeah. I uh, think that about does it for the keyboard itself. Now, let me put this off to the side. And let's talk about the mouse for a little bit. Then I'm going to talk about the price and give y'all my recommendation. So, oops. Here's the mouse. And similar to the keyboard, it's all plug and play. And this does use AAA batteries. You put them in right down here under this battery door. And you're good to go. So, no issues there. And I must say, when we talk about build quality and design on the mouse, I would say it's constructed really well. Now, one thing about mouses, because they have a lot of clickable parts, you're going to get a lot of rattle from the inside. But I must say, using it, it's nice and clicky. It's very responsive. So as you can see, let me pan this up real quick. As you can see, it's very responsive. 
and you can see I'm moving the cursor there and I've had no issues so there's not really any latency issues and it's good now another neat feature that I want to talk about here is the forward and back controls here and I use these a lot these are on the mouse right there let me, let me fix the camera again so we go back down here now these forward and back controls are actually awesome and they work similar to my other mouse and I've had no issues with them so and I think this just makes it a lot faster when you want to navigate to your previous pages and so on so that's pretty nice and that also is fairly clicky as you can see there so no issues with that and also another nice thing is that this mouse does come with uh, DPI controls so you can control the responsiveness of your pointer on the screen and I usually like to keep it at the fastest responsiveness so I get a little bit more speed out of it or it feels a little bit more snappy to me but other than that I actually like how this mouse feels in my hands it feels really good you don't really get too many fingerprints on it you do get a few because of the the glossy materials here and then they, they interlace some nice matte material here but other than that uh, it's not a big problem there and then you have your nice scroll wheel which is nice and responsive as well so it's a pretty solid um, wireless mouse and I really haven't had any issues with it um, if there was a negative um, I think I would like it to be just a touch bigger but for what I'm going to be using it for it's actually perfect and the small size makes it extremely portable now I used to have a laptop I don't have any anymore I gave it to my brother but all of these things um, should be able to fit very nicely into my laptop bag so this keyboard and mouse is going to fit in very nicely um, I'm actually getting an external hard drive that's gonna, uh, that should fit in very nicely a uh, USB hub and then a compute stick or a kangaroo pro and all of these things should be able to nicely fit into my laptop bag so if I ever need to go on a trip or do something and I have to be portable but I still want to get videos done or get some work done online or run some ads from the computer or manage my phones from the computer um, then that's what this would be used for other than that um, this is pretty much just going to be at my desk and this will be what I use now instead of the wired keyboard and mouse that I had before so that being said, I think I pretty much covered everything on this guy, on both of these, and I feel like I gave y'all a pretty good understanding of how everything works, and how exactly I'm going to be using everything in my setup, so now it comes down to the price and what I recommend this. Now, the price that I paid for this guy, um, let me pull it up because I don't remember exactly. I'm always watching a lot of things on Amazon, so I don't always remember the prices off the top of my head. Unless it was a really good deal there. So, but this, this was a really good deal. Now, let me see, let me go over here and see what my thing was. And mm -hmm. yeah, let me find it. All right, all right, guys. So the price for this guy, the keyboard and mouse combo here, was uh, fifteen bucks. Now, um, like I said, I cashed in some gift cards, but I got a little impatient, so instead of paying uh four bucks like I would have if I waited on my other gift cards 
I actually paid nine bucks. So I got a nice little price cut from from fifteen bucks to nine. So I saved a little bit of money, and that was pretty cool. Now, also with the things that I unboxed with this, I actually paid um, nineteen dollars for the rechargeable batteries and ten dollars for the battery charger. So got some pretty good deals on that, and they came really quickly via Amazon. So thank you Amazon for putting in the hard work, making sure things come on time, and it was actually really quickly. But also keep in mind, it came really quickly, sorry I can't talk. Also keep in mind, I will have all the links to where to purchase this from Amazon, as well as some other good sources in the description below. But, yes. This was pretty good. So now, for that price, you may be wondering, could I recommend this? And I would have to say, yes. Because for what you're getting in this package, is really, really solid. Okay? I mean, granted, there's only one downside to this, and that's the mushiness of the keys. But if you can get used to that, you're actually getting a, a solid keyboard and mouse combo that should serve you for a really, really long time to come. And if you're doing something similar to me and you're trying to get rid of all the cables running to your setup and you want a nice clean wireless setup that can be nice and portable, then this is actually one of the best deals for you. That being said, I know some people will be saying, well, you can always get a um, keyboard with a trackpad built in, and that might be a little cheaper. Um, some people, like myself, we like it to have things separate, because we like to have that weight of the mouse feel in your hand. And in some cases, the trackpads on these keyboard and trackpad combos can be a little bit messy. But a lot of people, well, I shouldn't say a lot because I don't know too many. But me, myself, I enjoy having the mouse and the keyboard separate. And so if you're similar to me, then you will find that this is a pretty, um, pretty good setup. And it's actually very traditional and keeps it nice and portable. So that's why I would go with this over a um, keyboard and trackpad setup. Which I do have, which works no problem, but there are some issues with it, which is why I decided to go with this, even though I continue to use that in my living room and things, but I really needed to go with this, because this actually feels a lot more comfortable to type on, and then I have a mouse, which also feels great in my hands. So, would I recommend this to you guys? Sorry again, I got off track. I just really want y'all to know my, my honest opinions and get a full understanding of what the product is and how useful it can be to you. So, what I recommend is, sorry, that's the last time I'm going to go off track, I promise. Yes, I would have to say I will recommend this because it comes in at a really, really solid price and it's going to last for a really, really long time. And it phases out your wireless, key, your wired keyboard and mouse so if you want to get a little cleaner setup but you want to still have that traditional functionality and still be able to do everything like a wired mouse and keyboard then yes I would have to recommend that you pick this up so that being said guys I'm sorry if the video was a little long I really really wanted to cover everything so y'all know exactly what y'all getting into if you enjoyed the video, please help your boy out and give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you want to see more raw, uncut content like this, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below to get notified as soon as new videos become available on YouTube. And lastly, guys, if you know anyone out there looking for some quality devices at some really great prices, please share with them my channel. Because I'm doing this for everybody. Because we all deserve the best. And as always guys. Keep in mind that all links to where to purchase this. Will be down in the video description. So I hope everybody has a great day. 
I'm sorry if I still sound a little weird. I'm still coming over a cold. Um, getting over a cold. I don't know. When I get sick, it tends to last for a really long time. So, I'm sorry about that. Sorry if I sound a little weird. But, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope you guys have a nice day. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.